So here it is, folks, the final walk, the lonely walk to my little projection room where I've climbed the stairs for oh, 12 years or so. A little, uh, lot of character in this projection room. I'm going to switch the light on because uh, I do have massive respect for some of my colleagues that I've worked with here over the last 12 years, particularly in the uh, early days of iBay Movie Studios when myself and Liam McDermott, Clinton Stewart, and Rory. Dave, a few others, and we're the projectionists here. This is the uh, the original little projection room. Probably uh, going to be better if I can put some of the lights on. But you will notice that uh, the cinema has been updated. We do have the latest barcode projectors, although not the uh, latest light bulbs. I will be able to switch the lights on here if you just bear with me a second. The final tour, it's my last shift in the uh, cinema that I've worked for the last 12 years or so. Just uh, pan around the old workbench and the uh, floor where uh, on quite a few occasions at Liam McDermott, Clayton Stewart and myself, I think there's an old photograph of it somewhere, uh, spent a whole day trying to reassemble a movie that ended up in pieces after it slipped off the uh, platter. This is screen number one, as I say, new barcode projector. Looking down into the screen, Captain America on there at the moment. This is the uh, main workstation and the uh, TMS, which has uh, over the years managed to claim all the jobs of all the projectionists. And if I do uh, light the screen up here, I'll show you Rosetta Bridge, which is the uh, software program. There it is. Rosetta Bridge, which automatically starts all the movies, and uh, from the moment that we power the system up. Oh, there's the five screens and all the movies running, with the exception of screen two, Captain America, Civil War. And, uh, from the moment that we switch everything on in the morning, that bad boy just makes sure that the cinema, the cinema schedule rather is adhered to. And number two, another barcode projector. This is uh, the real character of the uh, original live A cinema. This is our 35 millimeter. It's the uh, Cinemechanica 35mm projector. We still have it laced up. And, uh, there was a cinema visit here one day and I showed some uh, older people this projector in operation. A lot of sweat and tears spent over the years learning the job. And, uh, some six, seven, possibly eight years in, in and around uh, 2011, it was decided it was time to go digital and away went. The original projector, away went the platter that the movie used to sit on, and then came the latest digital technology. And this is my final walk down through the projection room. Uh, these posters uh, lovingly attached to the wall. In a couple of days I just decided it would uh, brighten up a little workspace. And, uh, this is going to be something that I'm going to miss. Quite a few other chapters in my life, a chapter that comes to a close, and indeed as one door closes, perhaps a better one opens. So that's the thought behind it. Screen number four, my bye to you. Number three, bye bye to you. And all the glitches that came along with you. <laughs> all the redundant. 35mm cinema comic projector. Absolutely worthless at the moment. An old wooden bobbit, my old friend. I used to use this for uh, building trailers and building commercial sets and editing them together on the little editing block. I don't mind to take that home with me actually. And that's it. Exception of the posters that the uh, guy that used to own the cinema was having archived and then forgot to take with him. Thanks for the last 12 years, four months. You've given me a good life. I'd like to think that I've given you a good life too. Adios.